Good morning and hello. Welcome back to Fletcher Finance with Russell Fletcher, also known as Uncle Buck. Let's see what's going on in the markets. Supreme Court looking at what exactly income is and how it should be taxed. This case could see a great reduction in the tax code and change how the 16th Amendment is interpreted. When, it, when is income actually income? Is it when it's realized or when it's just on paper? This may also turn the idea of property taxes upside down, which would be a good thing. There is a major difference between realized and unrealized income. When should taxes be paid on those two? This is going to be a very interesting case for the uh, Supreme Court. It's going to have long-term effects on not only the uh, international level and national level, but also on the uh, state and local level. So we'll be uh, following this and bringing you updates as they come in. Stocks continue to dip this week and break multi-week uh, winning streak, but of course today they've actually gone up quite a bit. Of course, with it being the end of the year, people will be taking profits and harvesting tax losses. If you're a long-term investor, don't panic. This is a typical for December. Remember, December is one of the best months of the year historically uh, for the stock market. The White House is warning Ukraine that money for foreign aid is running out. We all know what's going on over in Ukraine and how it, uh, we are supporting them. It's my personal opinion that we need to continue to support them along with getting our uh, NATO allies out to uh, support them as well. If we let the Russians win on this one, then the whole region will be in danger of being annexed by Russia and we could be seeing a second USSR. None of us want to see that. I'm not a fan of sending our tax dollars overseas, but sometimes it has to be done. It has to be done for not only the greater good of the uh, world, but also it's good for us here in the United States. Moving on to Richard Branson. He's that guy, that, uh, that English dude that has Virgin uh, Galactic and Virgin Records and Virgin this and Virgin that. And I think the only thing he doesn't have is a Virgin wife. Richard Branson has announced that he will not be putting money uh, into Virgin Galactic anymore. He indicated that the company has sufficient funding. The funny part is, news of this uh, sent the stock tumbling. So that would indicate that uh, they don't, but it's not a moneymaker anyway. Not only that, but let's get realistic. He's getting his butt beat by uh, Jeff Bezos and uh, Elon Musk. So, nice try, but he's starting to lose his Midas touch. On a more uh, sophisticated front, Uber has been selected. Uber has been selected to join the S&P 500 index. This sent shares uh, soaring and will be good news for the company uh, for the uh, long term. Uber has a market cap of 118 billion dollars. Congrats to Uber on your elevation in the capital markets. Uh, for all of you that know, the S&P 500 is a, is a uh, selection of 500 stocks that represent a, uh, different areas of the market and is a way of tracking uh, the stock market on a day-to-day -day basis. So being in the S&P 500 is a great honor. Being kicked out of the S&P 500 is a great dishonor. See how that works? Positive, negative, negative, positive. Monday, gold hit $2,100 per ounce. This is the first time in history this has happened. People are turning to gold as a safe haven from inflation and other monetary issues. I remember when gold was $225 per ounce. Too bad I was a kid back then and couldn't afford any. Oh well. You know, when it comes to wealth and stuff, it's always uh, time and place, place and time. And then finally, finishing everything off... 23andMe has confirmed that they have been hacked and that information about 6.9 million people, approximately 50% of their customer base, was accessed illegally. Remember that DNA testing companies are not bound by privacy laws such as HIPAA, so be careful who you give your DNA to. Me personally, until they actually uh, get subscribed to the uh, HIPAA laws and the uh, privacy laws, I'm not giving my DNA to anybody. There's enough of one of me running around without uh, the uh, proposed idea of a clone of me. Not only that, but I don't like being framed for crimes. 
Anyway, my name is Russell Fletcher, also known as Uncle Buck. This is Fletcher Finance. I hope you have a great day. Keep your eyes on the market. And remember that investing long term is a lot better than day trading. Because if you want to lose your money, either go to Las Vegas and gamble or day trade. Have a good day.